Good morning, good morning, folks. What it is, man? It's like December 6th on the highway. You know what I mean? 8.48 in the morning at a.m. Beautiful Wednesday morning, cloudy morning. You know what I mean? On the highway. Let's see. Uh, today, we on, we on, we on Lectorio 9A. You know what I mean? Drop this yesterday. Now I mean, the topic is uh Libya. If you don't know what's going on in Libya, now I mean, do your research. It ain't hard to find. Um, which is crazy. It actually was hard to find because I've also found out it's been going on since 2012. And here we are going on 2018. We all just kind of finding out about it about a month, two months, ago, which is. This window up. Slavery. Slavery. Straight up slavery. That wicked fucking thing. Slavery. That people try to throw under the rug. And one way they like to try to do it by saying it was 400 years ago. That's a straight up lie. That's a straight up lie. That's a straight up lie. We're talking about 180 years ago. You know, if that. I mean, talking actual. You know. Actual still throwing, you know, newborn babies, the alligators and all that. You know, just, just crazy shit. Like, shit you can't, you wouldn't be able to think of unless it was true. You wouldn't be able to imagine it or think it unless it, it, it happened. You know what I mean? But guess what? It's still going on. Right now in Libya, you know what I mean? They, 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 they're, they're kidnapping Israelites. They, they look like they, they may not be, but at the end of the day, they got to be Israelites. Being treated the way they being treated, we ain't gonna see no other people get treated like that. It's just, just once again, do the research. It's just not gonna happen. But you gotta be kind of deep and be with the spirit because if you are, it'll be kind of easy to see. Not kind of, it, it would be easy to see. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, stick with the topic: Libya, the slave trade, and to that also was: is it possible for it to come back? To America. All right, let's do this. I'm appalled. You know what I'm saying, but not surprised. Only not surprised because of I, I deal with Holy Scripture. But if I wasn't, I would, I would be totally shocked, surprised. But since I am dealing with Holy Scripture, I'm not a Christian. I'm not. I'm not shocked. You know, but but. I've always been upset, not with the Lord, my father who created it, you know what I'm saying, with how anyone could put someone in bondage. I mean, rather than just let everybody, you know, if this world is big enough for everybody, my father made this world big enough for everybody where nobody had to be subjugated to no one else. You know what I mean? We, we could be segregated with our own joints and, and, and you know, visit each other and Enjoy each other and love each other without trying to conquer, you know, someone or, or force someone to, to, to think or move the way you want them to move or think, you know, just because you think you're better and for profit, both. I mean, it's just, just both wicked. And guess what? That's happening in Libya right now as we speak. You know, all these things going on, you will figure every leader, including the leader of this country, they should be talking about that, you know, like not, like no other. And put an immediate stop to that, but they're not going to do that because they got they 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 they, they hands in it. Oh, that's not a conspiracy theory. I, mean, I don't need no um, I don't need to show you no proof. Sometimes the proof is when people don't do something. That's the proof. You know what I mean? That's the proof. Um, I find it appalling, be disgusting. Um, are they my brothers? Yes, I believe they are. They, I believe they are. Um, are, are, are. Now, if we're talking just the human people, yeah, everybody's human and all that. And I don't, you know, if it was up to me, you know, like I said, in a perfect world and all that, I mean, none of that really, you know, that doesn't go on. You know what I'm saying? Um, is it possible to come back to America? I'm going to say absolutely yes. It's very possible. Very, very possible. Matter, matter of fact, I'm going to say this. I know what can happen in America. I know what can happen today. If Esau wanted to, 
He could do that today, right now, if he wanted to. And my thing is, what would you do to stop it? That's the question. What can you do to stop it? All other nations, or particularly, particularly Israel. Nothing. Ain't nothing you could do about it. If he saw the side of right now to say, yo, everybody better report to such and such place. If you don't, you're going to jail, which is basically the same. If they do that to you. We made a new law for you to report here at this school, this public library. Just be there or you're going to jail. And guess what? The only reason why you're going is because you're about to auction your ass off. You know what I mean? What would you do? You don't got no power. So ain't nothing you can do. So either, the only thing you can do is either go, be a slave, or die. Or be willing to die. Which, which is what I would do. But guess what? Guess what? Is it possible? Like I said, yes, it could happen today if Esau wanted to. And guess what? Most of Esau do want that. They do want that. What do you think will make America great again and all that? They, they do want that. But guess what? I'm here to tell you, it can't happen in the United States. Because it already happened. It already happened once. It already happened. So it didn't happen bad. I, I wasn't there to know it. I, I study. I, I look. I see. I mean, you know, I don't turn my head to those things. You know, I mean, you know, it's hurtful and painful. You know, you really wishing to happen. You wanted to go away and all that. You know, all this 400 years ago. Was it 400 years ago? You know, what I mean, you know, terrible things just happened just 150 years ago and all that. And I and I do. I don't sleep. I I, I gotta look at it. You know, it's appalling. And it happened to my ancestors. It's appalling. I gotta look at it. But then. The sweet side that once I learned the scriptures and all that, there's a blessing in that. Because the Father blessed those people. And that's how I know it can't happen here. And then people like then some other like Esau, they be like, why we don't do that? We got why we cause we got the power. Because there's a higher power than your Esau. Yeah, you could. Why don't you? Because you already did it once and it was already promised that it'll only happen once. So it can't happen again here. Not here. Not here. And to be honest, there's a flip side to it. If it if it does, guess what? If it does, if y'all you know Esau wanted so bad and all that back here again, guess what? It'll be on the opposite end. It'll be on you don't you don't like that, huh? That don't sound too good now. Before it sounded a hype, right? Like yeah, let's get it back the way it was, and we got the power. You do got the power. You could do it right now. But guess what? There's a higher power that said it only was gonna happen once. That's how I know it can't happen can't happen and if it did like i say it again if it did guess 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 how guess how we position this time you wouldn't like that would you nah now nah, now nah, nah, it's not fair now nah, it's ugly now nah, it's how can you think like that and guess what i never thought like that it was taught so um yeah can it happen here is it terrible what's going on in libya right now of course i'm gonna keep this low because you know youtube the china you know you know stop it from going along and all that um can that can is it terrible what's happening there is it our is it our people when i say our people i mean like israelites yes i believe so matter of fact I definitely you know uh Gaddafi was an israelite he was starting to, he was waking up to that later that's why he was dealing with the nation of Islam and all that. You know, he's coming close. First, he had to find out, you know, he wasn't really no, you know, he, he knew he was so-called African or whatever. He was he was waking up. That was more than anything else that people wasn't liking. Like, once he was in bed with Esau and all that, and they was making money together and all that, they had no problem with him. But once he started awakening, once his, this just started popping off, and he had cash... Real cash from waiting on them other people and all that. They're like, oh no, we gotta get rid of this dude. This dude, this dude is actually awakening. And he's, he got too much money to be awakening. I mean, this dude is major to be awakening. So that goes with that. So yeah, they are people and, and all that. And it's, it's, it's wicked what's going on over there. Two, can it happen here? Yes. Will it happen here? No. Because it's all biblical. All right? So um, this is a Lectorial 9A. You know what I mean? Subscribe to my channel, Last King of Shirts LKS. There's gonna be so many different things from like you know the Lectorials um to uh entertainment. When I say entertainment, I mean like you know 
travel. I mean, it's going. You never know what's going to pop up. I mean, I might, I might, I know y'all might hate me saying it. It might be a pit bull fight or something. You don't know. You don't know what's going to pop up. But um, stay tuned. You know what I mean? And um, enjoy your day once again. It's Gigi. I'm saying, definitely get yourself a car chandelier. You know what I'm saying? From Last King of Shirts. Yeah, we the makers, we the creators, we popping it. Thanks for everybody, you know, locally that support me in Rhode Island with the soft launches with it. I'm gonna be global soon with it. Don't worry. Real global. We'll start here. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, chopping it up with the with the you know, CEO and all that. But uh, definitely, you know what I mean? You know, look out for car chandeliers. We're gonna have all kinds of flavors. You know what I mean? From sports joints. To slogans to all the nationalities and all that, you know what I mean? All that right there, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, you know, you know, enjoy your day, you know what I mean? One.